All right, folks, unboxing video. Should be another motherboard. Maybe a couple other parts in here. Yep, definitely a motherboard. Um, it's a gigabyte. It looks like uh, I have some other stuff I'm going to unbox after this video. But uh, it's a gigabyte UDH610i DDR4. Now, surprisingly, I didn't bring this one onto the channel. We've had uh, quite a few motherboards. This has got to be, you know, number 20-something of LGA 1700s that we've had on here. So, before I get into the boxing, folks, uh, this is where I sell my channel. For this motherboard, I will do an installation. We will also do a BIOS overview, a BIOS update, and... Uh, that's pretty much about it with this motherboard that you'll see on the channel. Maybe a review, uh, maybe even a macro view where we take a different camera and get really close to the motherboard so you can see all the features. All right, let's get this open. Actually, let's start by showing you what the back looks like. There may be some details on here that I forget to mention or I offhand don't know. Um, so it looks like the LAN is probably one gig. PCIe will be 4.0 by 16. You know, some of the, uh, there was a gigabyte, an Eris, really nice Eris. It was PCIe 3.0 for ITX, which was surprising. And I don't know if you can see all of that info on the left there. So we'll get this open now. DDR4. All right, what else is in the box, folks, before we look at the motherboard? you got SATA cables. You've got a uh, I.O. shield, which I hate. Got an adapter, a couple of adapters in here. Uh, so they're probably USBs to uh, something smaller. And directions won't tell you squat, so you have to, you have to figure that out. Folks. Maybe we'll figure it out before the video is over. All right, let's get this out. Get it open. So, nothing on the back. No additional M.2s in there. All right, just in case you're wondering. Sometimes I do have them in there. Now. One video I will make, so we just got this uh, delivered here May 12th, or excuse me, April 12th of 2023. I may just put an i3 in here, i3 13100F, which 13th gen, to see if this will boot. I'm curious if these are shipping with updated BIOS. Most likely this has been sitting on the shelf, and it's an older one. So let's go ahead and drop down, folks. Let's get a little... Tighten the shot up for you. All right. Like we said, PCIe 4.0 by 16 expansion slot. Now, there is your uh, HD audio. All right. rotate over here so front panel connectors right here and so you'll have your uh, third and fourth will be the power switch um, power LED should be underneath it and you also have reset and um, uh, HDD LED in there so we have USB there and above it. So two of those. That looks to be RGB. Uh, probably not ARGB on here. USB 3.2 SATA. Four SATAs. There's your 24 pin power connector from your power supply. And your dim slots. Remember to open both sides of that before you put your RAM in. So these folks... Let's see, we've got a system fan. So those were converters for system fans, all right? Um, that's what that, those two adapters. 
they were for system fan. Here's your CPU power connector, one by four. So it's really not going to benefit you to put anything really powerful in here. Like I might just put an i9 12900KS in here for the hell of it, but uh, here's your CPU fan header. That's a normal one. CMOS battery. See that? Yeah, I'm not sure what those headers are. Are they even labeled? Um, all right. So when we do the macro view, we'll we'll know what those are. LGA 1700. You can ignore the 1800 part there. There's our socket pins. So I always like to check these out real good because even though this says it's new, um, you never know. You might get one chip that was used. That does happen. All right. Now, where I/O shield is, um, video audio inputs and uh, USB. You've got USB 2.0, PS2, PGA, HDMI, two Display Ports. All right. So that means to use these these four, you would need a CPU with integrated graphics, USB 3.2 Gen ones, two more USB 2.0s, one gig. LAN, line out, headphone out, and microphone, all right? Um, so the only thing we have left on here to figure out what those guys are, and I doubt that we have a manual with this, so let's check that real quick. All right, folks, so I didn't notice this, but it was underneath the app center. Uh, so we are looking for these two that are over by the CMOS battery. Okay, those are just comms headers, so nothing we would use. Let me go ahead and let you guys check this out, though, in case there was another thing I might have missed. Now, this one does not have a BIOS flashback button, it would appear. Um, I just saw something for in BIOS, but there's nothing... There's no buttons and no buttons over here. So we will, uh, when I said do a BIOS update, we'll do that through the BIOS. Thanks for checking out this video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.